Let's go to Marjorie. You're on the air. Go ahead, Marjorie. Oh, my God, Peter. Welcome back. I'm so glad you're back. Long as two weeks. Long time. Yeah, you seem like you work on. Well, thank you very much. But listen, Seamus did a great job. Oh, yes, he did. But what I want to tell you, you know, I'm getting an awful lot of good reports about, uh, my God, is that shot of uh, Tim Powers. Tim Powers. He went over really, really well. He was on for a week or so and uh, sitting in for Patty, right? Yes. I went over and go, but I told everybody, I said, that's the Crosby bloody that makes him so good. Probably, yeah. Listen, uh, Marjorie, what I find really interesting is in, in just about every field of life, how a little province like Newfoundland and Labrador has produced so many people who dominate the scene. You take Tim Powers and Seamus O'Regan and others, of course, scores of others on the mainland dominating uh, the scene, media scene, uh, all from this little province. It's just amazing to me. It's wonderful, wonderful. But I tell you, anyway, I'm glad you're back. But I want, to, you know, I'm listening about uh, Jerome Kennedy now, getting blamed for saying this is promise, not promise. You blame that on James McLeod. He and nobody wants to hear. See, after they get something in their head, they don't want to hear. Jerome came out and he made a statement about it that it got mixed up, go from one part to the, the interview to the other. But see, if the crowd, the government, uh, listen to me, they wouldn't talk to the telegram or nothing in right. If you don't get it on open line and people can't. Hear you. Don't talk to him because you can't trust him. And I met McLeod, by the way, out to the PC convention out in Gander last year. Yeah. And I was mad at him then. Why? Because he's a Negro pig. And well, he's I know. Just, my goodness, Marjorie, you've got to moderate your language. My goodness, you can't be but, calling but other he, human beings out. I thought you were a person with compassion and and but, uh, and respect for human me, dignity. But it makes other people in the do that, that don't try to do a good job, like the, the young fellow Walsh from CBC and your own Danny, the little one from the VOCM, do you proud, you know? But he was a monster from the time he got there. Yeah, okay. And, and uh, I was, and Marjorie, I was, uh, Marjorie, I thought that that problem uh, that uh, with the Jerome Kennedy was all cleared up now. I wasn't here, and I didn't hear at all, and so on, but he uh, had he was reported as saying that the the commitments made in the blue book, the Tory blue book, before the election were not promises, uh, the, you know, 100% promises and so on. Now, he said he was misquoted and so on, but, I mean, I, I didn't see anything wrong from the start with what he said. I mean, you put out your party platform, and and everything is cont uh, that you would what you would like to see achieved over four or five years, but nothing is uh, set in concrete or etched in stone. It all depends on the money available, and if there's a catastrophe or if the price of oil were to go through the floor or down in the cellar. I mean, that would af affect the ability of any government to meet its commitments. It's a statement of what you commit yourself to strive honestly and sincerely to try to do, and I. I that's all he said. No, no, it was awful. There's people just, it seems that they, they, you, they, they, they do an interview, you, you know, and they, and people put the slant down and this governor is marked off and start doing this and not doing that. I think this is the best cover we ever had. And then he put the foundation under it. At least I tell you. And then liberals are then, uh, and they tell you this. Tom Marshall, uh, it, it'll go down in history as one of the best things we ever had in government in our whole mm -hmm. lifetime. There'll never be another person to come around like him again. And I heard Mr. O'Brien had uh, I forget, the singer had his mouth called again. But he better find another district around because we didn't tend to run this one up here. Or he, uh, <laughs> uh, because he ain't going to get this. He's right. not going to do it very good. All right, Marjorie, thanks very much. We'll have to discuss the next time you call. Why, if this if this is the best government uh, that has this province has ever produced provincially, why is it that they seem to be tanking in the polls? There must be a but reason I, for I that. Don't know, I guess we're spoiled. When you get so much, it's like when you got lots of water, you had lots of everything. Mm. It don't seem so good. But wait, I, I hope to God, God lets me live to what, till this couple goes, another couple comes, and open land is still around. Yeah, I, I, I tell you, okay. I spent the rest of my life fashion, and I don't like doing yeah. that. But it, but it makes me angry to see that we got such a good government and uh, and, and uh, something happened somewhere mm. uh, and we got when we get out to convention together we're going to have to talk about it okay. and relay what's time to go and listen thank mm. you for listening I, and I'm so glad you're back I thank you Marjorie for the welcome back I appreciate it and as usual of course we had our little uh, little uh, set to from time to time but that makes that's life and thank you very much for calling oh well, thank you very much best. bye 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 and uh, anybody else who wants to comment on uh, 
the Jerome Kennedy, I didn't even raise it because I figured it was set in the way in the past, but if anyone wants to comment on this government's commitment to fulfilling its uh, uh, platform in the blue book, 43% was it, Jerome said, had been accomplished already in the first half of the term? Anyone who wants to comment on that, do so. 